I'm Tony Northrup, and for my book, Stunning Digital Photography, I'd like to tell you about back button focus, a technique that changed my photography and sped everything up. In a nutshell, it separates focusing from the shutter button. Normally, when you take a picture, you push the shutter halfway down, it focuses, and then you push it all the way, and you take the shot. That's not always what you want though, because that means every time you take a picture, the camera has to automatically refocus. And if you don't want that, you have to go onto the lens and switch it to manual, and that's kind of a slow process, and back button focus allows you to focus by pushing the AF on button or another button on the back of the camera, and when you push the shutter button, it never focuses. So every time you shoot, you decide whether you want to focus or not. Let me show you one of the benefits when you're shooting portraits. I'm gonna turn around and take a picture of Chelsea. I wanted to compose the picture with Chelsea's eyes outside where the focusing points on this camera are. I wanted them up near the top of the frame. That required me to use a technique called focus and recompose, where I put the focusing point on her eye, focus, and then recompose for the shot I want. With back button focus, that was no problem. I could put the focusing point on her eye, press the AF on button, and then shoot as many times as I want until one of us moved and then I would need to refocus. Without back button focus, every time I let my finger up off the shutter button, I would have had to repeat the focus and recompose process. Therefore, back button focus for the sake of portraits made things move along much faster by allowing me to shoot many times without needing to refocus. <laughs> She's wiggling. Check the description for instructions on how to set up back button focus okay. on your specific camera model. Pixel went off to chase another dog, but I'll say that focus recompose is even more important for group portraits. Imagine if I'm shooting a, three rows of people. Normally I wanna focus on the second row of people and then take a whole bunch of shots to make sure that I have one shot where everybody's smiling and their eyes are open. But focus is linked to the shutter button as it is by default. Every time I go to take a picture, it's gonna refocus and it might miss focus or it might focus on the wrong person. With back button focus, I just push that once, lock in focus, and then I can take as many pictures as I want until the people move or I move my camera. For weddings and events, I can keep my camera in continuous focus all the time. For times when I just need to lock focus, for, like single focus, I can just push the button until it focuses and then let go. For times when somebody's moving, like a bride walking up the aisle, I just hold the AF button, button down and it will continuously track them. So it gives you the best of both worlds between continuous and still focusing. On mirrorless cameras with eye detect autofocus, like Sony and Fuji cameras, I program the AF on button to be regular autofocus. And then I program the AEL button or the button on the lens to do eye detect autofocus. This allows me to instantly choose between focusing on a single point or focusing on a human eye. So Chelsea and the puppy here, I can either choose to focus on Chelsea's eye or on the puppy. Focus on Chelsea's eye or press the AF on button to focus on the puppy. During a portrait shoot, this gives me the ability to instantly adapt to changing situations. If the model's facing me and her eyes are clear, AEL will focus on the eyes instantly. If they turn away, or if they're closing their eyes, or eye detect doesn't work for some reason, I can always switch back to AF on and do traditional focusing instantly. Sports are an awesome time to use back button focus. When somebody's running, I'll be using continuous focus and continuous shutter, and I'll hold the back button down. That would behave exactly like you weren't using back button focus. Let's try that first, and then you'll really realize the benefit. Where you realize the benefit of back button focus is when you don't need to use it. Like when a subject isn't moving, or they're moving parallel to the sensor. In this case, I'm gonna have Madeline try to make a goal on the goalie, and by letting off of back button focus, I'll stop my camera from focusing while I'm shooting. What that does is actually speed the camera up. You don't know it, but if you're in continuous shooting, the camera's taking pictures as fast as it can, but it has to pause between shots to refocus. When you let go of back button focus, it doesn't have to pause, and it will shoot faster and faster. Let's give it a shot. Nice. So how much of a difference does that make? 
on the Sony A9, it will shoot about mm, 12, 13, 14 frames a second when I have the back button focus pulled down. And when I let off, it'll shoot up to 20 frames a second. So an extra 30% frames, that can make the difference between the perfect moment and ugh, almost the perfect moment. And that can make a real difference in the ultimate photos that you produce. And that way back button focus gives you better photos. I love having back button autofocus when I'm shooting wildlife because I like the features of decoupling your focusing with your shutter button. It leaves me free to hold down the back button focus while I'm shooting and it can just refocus as I'm tracking an animal. If you have a newer camera and it supports using multiple buttons to program back button autofocus, you can use one button and program it for a single point autofocus and the other one for all point autofocusing. You might want to use a single autofocus point if there's a cluttered background and you want to lock into that one point of the picture. If you have a clear background, like when a bird's flying through the sky, you can use all focusing points and I find that much easier. In wildlife photography, before I discovered back button focus, I was always switching between AFS, single AF, for things like perched birds where I needed to focus and recompose, and then continuous autofocus for tracking moving birds. And so I'd be shooting a bird that was perched in a tree and then suddenly it would take off. And in that split second, I would try to go in and switch mode so that I could track autofocus. And it, it just didn't work at all. But with back button focus, I can keep the camera in continuous autofocus all the time. When a bird is close and it's perched and I want to autofocus on it, I just hold down AF on until it locks in focus. And then I can recompose and keep shooting without worrying about refocusing when I push the shutter button. And then as soon as it takes off, I just hold down AF on and it tracks it the whole time. Night photography is one of the most useful times to have back button focus. Here's why. It's really hard to focus at night. And every time you take a picture without back button focus, you're gonna push the shutter and that's gonna cause the camera to refocus. That's incredibly frustrating because often your camera won't be able to focus properly. So you try to pick, take a picture and it'll be hunting in and out and then failing. Frequently, I'll use manual focus for night photography. With back button focus, I don't have to fumble to find the manual focus switch on my camera in the dark, because with back button focus, I can manually focus at any point and not ruin that focus when I go to take a picture. If I have a friend who's shining a flashlight on a building or something that I want to focus on, they will shine that flashlight for a moment. I'll focus on it by pushing the back button and then I can take repeated pictures. I can recompose my shot, use different compositions, and I know my focus is going to be locked in. If I don't use back button focus, then every time I touch the shutter button, the camera is going to try to refocus. It's going to hunt and possibly ruin it, especially for astrophotography. You can do manual focus, sure, but with back button focus, sometimes some cameras can actually autofocus on bright stars, and that's so much more accurate than trying to manual focus. So again, back button focus gives you best of manual focus, the best of single autofocus, and the best of continuous autofocus. Setting up back button focus is a little bit different on every camera. Fortunately, we've made free tutorials for more than 50 popular cameras. Just head to sdp.io slash tutorial and find the tutorial for the camera that most closely matches your camera model. Then look in the description for the link that takes you to the part of the tutorial about back button focus. I hope this helped. I'd love to hear your experiences in the comments down below. Check out my book, Stunning Digital Photography, which has 14 hours of video training in it. And of course, a whole book, hands-on practices, access to a private Facebook group with peer support, quizzes at the end of chapters where you can use to, to test your own knowledge. The ebook is only 10 bucks. The paperback is a little more, but it's all a great value. Subscribe for more free videos and give me a like. Thanks.